Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I get Winnie the Pooh requests quite often. Um, and I was just browsing through Design Space and I didn't realize this image was even available in here. It will cost you money if you end up using this file, but I wanted to, to actually use this file for a couple, couple of reasons. One, everyone can access this and practice along the, the, with the video and the tutorial and you don't have to pay for it unless you actually go to make it. So it's great because then we're working on the same image. You can put it exactly where I put it. And then that way um, you can follow along and, and, and try to recreate and learn uh, with me. Number two, I like this image because it's not very often that I see this because Winnie, is ba Winnie the Pooh is basically two colors, right? It's his skin and his red shirt. Um, and so a lot of times it's really hard to make him big because there's nowhere to hide things like the, he doesn't have multiple layers. It's just skin and shirt. But take a look at this. Let's take a look at his body. His body right here is awesome because everything is in its own piece. Like this is his butt. That's one piece, right? It's enclosed. It's one piece. So that means it's going to be seamless, right? Like his arm is this piece and the hand is here, the belly, the other arm, the foot, like everything is in segments, which means if you think about it, if each segment can technically be 11 and a half inches, right? I mean, obviously we're not going to make it that big, but because we still have the head. So if the head was like 11 inches, here's another 11 here. We could make this close to 30 and not have any seams. Now there is a little bit of an issue with the red here. I don't know if it's going to be any issues, but if there was an issue, I see multiple places because right now it looks like the red is in two pieces. It's this big piece here and then this piece right here. But we can easily extend this line of the of the sleeve up here and then extend it right here. So that means this arm would be by itself. We would extend this little black line all the way through and and turn this shirt into one, two, three, four, four pieces if we needed to, and it would look seamless. We'll make a deliberate cut so it looks like there's a black outline right there. Um, so we can do that. I don't know if we need to, but the option is there. So let's see what he looks like at 30 inches. So go to height, type in 30, and let's zoom out at the bottom here. It's where my face is. You, <laughs> There's like a little button with a minus and a plus sign. Hit the minus sign to zoom out. We're gonna go to 25%, so that way we don't have to scroll up and down. Okay, so let's look at this guy. So let's look at the shirt. Okay, so the shirt is 13, almost 14 inches by 11.2. So we need to slice it a little bit, but by not much. So let's see how big his face is. Um, so with his face, it's this piece, right? It's his skin. Let's go to contour and let's hide all. Let's just see what the face is. So we click hide all. It leaves us the face. Let's see what the measurements for the face is. Okay, so the face is a little big. It's 15 inches by 12. So we can't make him 30 without drawing attention to his face. So actually, let's grab this whole thing and change it from 30 to, let's go to 27 inches and see what we have. So at 27 inches, let's look at his face. His face is 10 by 11 by 14. So it's still too big. All right. Let's go to 24. Let's see what we have at 24. At 24, his face is, okay, this I can work with. 12.4 by 9.6. I think we can rotate that and that will be fine. Let's look at the red. The red is then 11 by nine, so we don't need to do anything. Okay, so let's save this guy before I forget. So Winnie is uh, 24 inches, so Winnie. 24 inches and he's gonna look seamless now if you want him to be taller what we could do is and let's go back and add the face for a second let's go to contour and show all just to bring everything back 
if you really wanted him to be much bigger, we can add a log that he's sitting on or something like that. So let's go and let's go into images and maybe a tree trunk. Tree trunk. Let's see. Let's see if we have any options here. We need to find something that's layered as well to make it look good. Um, so I'm scrolling, scrolling like something like this. Okay, I'm gonna pick this one, okay? So it's 99 cents, but it is what it is. Let's insert the image. Okay, we're gonna arrange, send to the back. So we could do something like this and check this out. The whole thing is gonna be 35 inches, so almost three feet tall. So at your party or whatever, <clears throat> it will lift him up for one, so he will be very prominent, and it's gonna look like a really big structure. So I, I like this idea a lot. So let's do this one, okay? So what's gonna happen is we are basically going to merge this file, this image with our black, and let's weld it. <clears throat> And then we're gonna send it to the back, okay? So that, we're gonna arrange and send to the back. And what happened here? We sent that to the back, this tree trunk, trunk or stump. We're gonna move forward. No, we don't want that. We want it right there, okay. So that's what he's gonna look like. We can easily change this to black instead of the dark brown. Although dark brown doesn't look bad to me, but we could do that. Um, okay, <clears throat> so let's say that we're gonna do that. What we, from the tree stump, we don't need, oops, hold on, sorry. We're working on this. Okay, so tree stump. Um, let's arrange and send to the front for a second. So we actually don't need <clears throat> a big portion of this. So we can, let's see, how is that? So this is gonna go from the back. Oh, I see, okay, hold on. Before we do that, let me undo a few things. Let's undo that weld for a second, okay? So I'm just backtracking. Okay, so we have our tree stump and our thing. So the deal is here, our tree stump is in, the outline is actually the front layer and this is the back. I sort of want the two, I want to grab, grab these two and I want to slice it. And the reason why I wanna slice it is, let's, um see if it lets me undo itself okay so that way we have this is what we have i don't want this layer and i want this to actually contour and i'm gonna hide all it's gonna be part of my background so it's gonna sit like this and then this is gonna sit on top arrange send to the front And then Winnie is gonna arrange them to the front. He's gonna sit on top like this. Okay, so what's gonna happen then is on this one, we're gonna go to contour. We don't need these top pieces at all. So I'm just gonna select it and remove it because he's sitting, you don't even see it. So that's why we're gonna remove it. Oh, it looks like I still have a piece. So let's go to contour for a second. Oh, I still have this piece, so let's click on that. We don't need that. We just need these little things, okay? And we can actually, let's make this a little bit smaller. Maybe like that, so he's sitting like that. So overall, our piece is 33 inches. If you wanted, I feel like that looks, that looks good. Okay, 
So now that we have everything, what we wanna do is we wanna grab the back layer, hit your shift key, and the background of Witty, and we're going to weld it. Okay, and then we're gonna take that arrange, send to the back, Okay, so now we have our Winnie. Okay, we're ready to get started. So let's look at this. Let's look at our slice results here. This is our piece. What we wanna do is, this is too wide, right? So let's slice it right here. And I wouldn't even see how it looks right like this. I would just continue slicing it and make it look like it's one piece. And then that way, so let's go to our text. I have a piece that's gonna look good. And go to your font and search for I love glitter. This is not a, um, a Cricut font. It's from Defont, so D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. What's cool about this font is you want the square bracket. So it's to the right of the letter P. It doesn't matter which square bracket, but it gives you this cool glyph that kind of matches the shape of this easily, right? So I kind of want to make it thick so the thickness matches my vein right here, my little tree trunk vein. And then I'm going to move it like this. And I'm going to try to catch it. Oops, I'm trying to rotate it. I'm trying to match it a little bit. Right around there, okay? So stick with me here. I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm gonna slice. And it's just taking a, a little bit. So we can remove that remove that and on this one what you want to do is for this piece right here you want to contour we don't want this piece here we want it to look like this right for it to cut right here but this we're going to weld back together so now look at our tree trunk right? It looks natural. Like you don't, I mean, it kind of looks like this piece over here, but right here. So what this does for us is let's get rid of this. Okay. This piece we can now split into two, right? Because it's, here's one piece and here's the second piece. So let's duplicate this and we're going to use contour to separate the two. The reason why we need to separate the two is it's 17 inches by 12. We can't cut this with regular cardstock. So what you wanna do is you go to contour. Let's get rid of this one. So we have just the left piece. So here's our left piece, 7.7 .7 by 11.6. We'll get to that in a second. Let's click contour. Let's get rid of the left piece. So we have our right piece. So here's our right piece. Now, this is what we're gonna do. It's gonna look like this, right? This one, we're going to rotate it um, a little bit this way, a little bit more. Uh, come on, work with me. Can I really not get it? Okay, I'm trying to rotate it so that one side is under 11 and a half. Oh, it's so close. I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit more. Okay, perfect. 11.498 by 11.3. That means I can cut this with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. My trunk is going to look seamless, right? This piece, I don't know if I can rotate it anymore. No, so what I'm gonna need to do is maybe slice it down right here. And then that way, this is actually gonna be three pieces. So again, I'm gonna go to my text. I'm gonna hit the square bracket. Where did it go? Okay, my square bracket. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna make it big to match the width of, or the thickness of my of the the cuts and then I'm going to stick it like this 
Let me make this a little bit thinner. Okay. Right around there, okay? I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm gonna slice. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this black. I don't care about the black. I'm gonna remove the other black, which is this one. And then this piece though, I need to be careful. I only want to remove this portion. So I'm going to go to contour and I'm only removing this. The other pieces, I want to weld it back together. So I'm going to grab this and weld. Okay. So now I have my two pieces. I'm going to duplicate so that I can separate the two, right? So let's go to contour. So my tree trunk is gonna be in three pieces. I'm gonna remove this piece, so I have my middle piece that goes right. Did we twist this a little bit? We did. Okay, and then this one, we're gonna contour and we're gonna get rid of this piece and it's gonna leave us with this. So now this piece is 7.3 by 11.06. So it's gonna be, it's gonna look seamless. I'm gonna put it back together so you can see what it looks like. Oh, I don't want to, you know what, here, let me duplicate this piece. I don't want to move it. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave it like that, but. See, my tree trunk looks pretty good, right? Because Winnie's going to sit on top. You're going to see that it's, it's going to look good. Okay, let's look at Winnie. <clears throat> so he, let's get rid of this piece. Here are our three tree stump pieces. Here's Winnie. We're going to ungroup it. And let's see what we have. The red shirt we know is good. All one piece. 11 by 9. We're good there. Here's his nose. His nose is obviously good. <clears throat> Here's his feet. Now there's a little bit of a distance and we can't ungroup it. So what I would do is I would duplicate and go to contour and we're gonna remove one piece. So this one, we're gonna leave this, right? And then on this piece, we're going to contour and remove this piece. That way when we go to the make it screen, we can push these up right next to each other to save space. We're not gonna just cut randomly on a piece of paper and then have that weird piece of scrap left. This way, if you put it right next to each other, if you save your scraps, then you have a much more usable space for next time. Okay, let's look at Winnie. Okay, so we are going to separate this into a couple pieces. Um, let's do this first. Let's separate top from bottom, okay? So we're gonna bring in a square, make your square really big. So when you want to separate a piece, you can either separate it by contouring or by slicing. So in this case, I'm going to slice the bottom from the top. So I'm grabbing the two like this. You can only slice two things at one time. So I'm slicing Winnie's skin and the square. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. We can get rid of all the slice results. We don't need that. So now his bottom is by itself and his head is by itself. Now the head, the ear is by itself. So I'm gonna duplicate the head so that I can separate out the ear. So I'm gonna contour this one. I don't want the ear. It's gonna be just the head. And I know if I rotate this, right, I can make this within size, 11.4 by 11. On this one, contour, I want just the ear. So I'm gonna hide all. I want my ear, I don't want the face. So see, I'm selecting and deselecting. So I'm gonna get out of this and there's my ear. So now this piece is good. Now this piece, we wanna separate it maybe into two pieces. So let's duplicate it. We don't need to separate all the pieces, but we could separate, let's go to contour and let's kind of break up his body in half. Let's select these items over here. 
and so I'm leaving his left hand side. So this is a 9.3 by 11, so we can cut that. So now when I go to contour, I wanna get rid of the left side this time, right? So I don't want this, this, or this. Now I have my right side. My right side is 6.8 by 8.5. So he is, his body, everything is seamless. It's gonna look amazing. And how tall is he? 33 inches. That's pretty good. He's gonna look fabulous. Um, okay, so now we have this piece that we need to slice up, right? Because it's 19 inches by 33. So obviously we can't cut this as is. So we're gonna slice it up into big pieces. And I should have just made him 33 inches now that I think about it, but it's okay. Let's, <laughs> um, I wonder if I can figure something out. Um, we can rotate him a little bit. Let's see if I can rotate him in any way. Okay, so if you rotate him a little bit, this becomes under 33 inches so that we can do three rows. 11 plus 11 plus 11 is 33. We're gonna cut using 11 by 11 cardstock. It's technically 12 by 12 cardstock, which means we can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I hate dealing with half inches. So I'm gonna make my squares 11 by 11. So let's bring in our first square and change the dimensions to 11 by 11 and we're gonna put it right here, somewhere there, okay? Go to your position feature, we're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So mine is currently, this square is at 9.889, I'm gonna change that to 10. 8.33, I'm gonna change to eight. And you can do this as well, because later I'll show you how to move Winnie. Okay, so what we're basically saying is the X coordinate is the one running across. Go over 10 units, go down eight units, and we're at the beginning of our square. We're gonna duplicate that square and we're gonna put it really, really close and we're gonna round again to the nearest whole number. So 21.3 becomes 21, 8.13 becomes eight. We've now, what we've accomplished is we have two squares that are completely flushed with each other. And we want that because we don't want any gaps, obviously, right? Um, and we don't want them to overlap. So we want them to butt up right next to each other so that we could tape it and piece back the background into, you know, back into one big piece, okay? So now that we have two flush squares, hit the shift key and grab both of them. And you know they're both grabbed because they're um, selected. It's a darker gray over here. You wanna duplicate them. So that way we're duplicating a set of flush squares. Put it really close to the top one. And then this will become 10 and 19. And duplicate again. And this is our last set of flush squares that we need to put up here. So 9.9 .9 becomes 10, 30.028 becomes 30. And I can show you the math behind this. So this first square is at 10, right? So it's at 10 units here. 10 plus the 11 inches of our square is 21, and here's 21. And the same can be said going down. So our it's at eight units here, eight plus 11 is 19. So this is start at 19, okay? So that's basically all that is. Okay, to the right hand side panel, scroll all the way down, we're gonna get our, our background. Where is our little guy? Here it is. Select him and arrange send to the front. And we're now gonna place him in our little grid of flush squares so that we can cut we can slice him up. What we wanna do is we wanna just make sure, um, so I can see that I don't love this the way it is. And I say that because maybe it's better if we just do something like, I'm not liking this. He's, I'm trying to avoid, here, I'll show you. This is what I'm, I'm gonna zoom in for a second. Okay. So 
the way he is, he's too high, right? So he's not even on the grid. So if I move him down to here, this is what happens. So when we slice this, it's going to slice off the ear, a little bit of his face and over. So this piece is going to be thin, but it's okay. This piece is going to be big. It's basically his whole face. We're, I don't mind that so much, but this is where I mind. Right here, it's going to slice off a little bit of his, I don't know if that's his elbow or whatever. And I don't want to keep track of a little piece like that. I would rather it be up here like this. But if I'm up here like this, what will happen is this piece is now. So I feel like maybe something like this would be good. So that we know the ear, that sucks, but that's okay. Everything else will be big pieces. I don't want this right here. So let me see if I can. I can't move him over either. All right, so it's gonna have to be something like this. So that way, this is one big chunk, this is another big chunk. These are two big chunks that will be sliced up. This one is gonna come down. Ah, uh, it's like the nose is right there. That's not gonna work. I wonder if the nose is better now. Okay, I think he's in. I don't mind missing that little piece. Okay, and then the ear. So the ear is easy. We'll just leave it right there, okay? So let's zoom back out. Let me, let's zoom out a little bit more. I feel like, let's see, where is this line? I'm gonna move it over just in a little bit. Okay. All right, so let's slice and see what we have. So we're slicing one square at a time and the brown background. Okay, we're gonna go and slice six times all the way through. Then we're gonna grab these two pieces and slice. So you can kind of see what we're slicing, right? So that's gonna be one piece. We're gonna tape him back up so that he's gonna be seven pieces with one small piece, six big pieces and one small ear, but that's okay. It's the best that we can do with this piece. We're gonna slice all the way around. And if we slice off a little bit right here, I'm actually okay with that. No one will notice that there's a sliver missing right here. We'll see what that looks like. Okay, so here's his ear. Oh yeah, there is a sliver. You can tell because this little ear is tiny, but it's saying it's 9.6 inches wide. Let's go to contour and see how, see, it's a tiny little piece. Let's just get rid of it. We don't care about that piece, okay? So here's the ear, here's his head. So he's in seven pieces, six pretty big pieces and one small ear and this is what he's gonna look like. We're gonna piece him back together, and then you're gonna put all these colored pieces on top of him, and he's pretty much gonna look seamless. So we're gonna grab all this stuff and delete, because all these seams have things over it, like his whole body, right? Like, here, let me move all this to the back. And I'll piece him together a little bit closer so you can see, like, where we will have seams, okay? So let's... I'm gonna leave a little bit of space so you can see where the seams are. This will be covered by this pretty much. Um, his shirt's gonna cover a lot of these seams right here. See? So when we put this all together, he's going to look pretty seamless. Where you're gonna see some seams is right here but that's, you know, relatively tiny, a little bit here and a little bit here. Um, 
and then his face doesn't have any, right? There are no seams up there, and then his ear right here, which didn't, and I would put it so that his ear There's a seam right there, right? Okay, yeah. His ear will cover it though, most, most of it. See? And that's how he's gonna look. He's gonna look really, really cute. I hope that was helpful. I know we did a lot on this tutorial, but you know, you can redo it a couple times and if you can master this, then you can do any of them because we did a lot of work here. We added another piece to make it taller. We did some slicing using a glyph. Um, so this was definitely like a good, good, advanced, somewhat off the mat tutorial, but he's gonna look seamless, he's gonna look beautiful. Um, I would probably do, um, I mean, do whatever color cardstock that matches here, but I would do his shirt, maybe red glitter cardstock to make it stand out a little bit. Um, and maybe if you wanted to, to hide the seams, I would do the background like a dark brown glitter cardstock if you have it, or even a black glitter cardstock, and then everything else will look just beautiful. All right, I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think. If that was mind blowing good, mind blowingly bad, <laughs> if you have questions or you have your own special request, I would love to help you out. All right, if you have a file to send me the, so that I can work on it, it's ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. Okay, bye guys.